Goldie Hawn doesn't mind that Harvey Weinstein is doing the cell block tango. The Hollywood actress, 77, is blasting the jailed producer, saying he swindled her out of a movie role in the late 1980s. Hahn told Variety on Wednesday that she and Madonna were set to star in a screen adaptation of Chicago produced by Weinstein before he suddenly re-jigged the project. Harvey basically undermined me and Madonna, the star stated, saying she had been cast as Velma Kelly, while the Like a Virgin singer was attached to play Roxy Hart. At the time, Hahn was in her early 40s. However, before production began, Weinstein suddenly commissioned a new script in which Velma was 23 years old, effectively aging Hahn out of the role. The star recalled confronting Weinstein after she learned the news. She told Variety, I said, don't F, K with me. Because I know just what you're doing. We made a deal, while Weinstein never went ahead with having Hahn in the role, he did pay her a salary because she had signed on to star in the project. You stand up to a bully. And sometimes, you win, she declared. I said to him afterward, you know what the best part of you paying me is? Not the money. You restored my faith in dignity and ethics. Little did I know. Weinstein finally ended up producing the big screen adaptation of Chicago in 2002, with Catherine Zeta-Jones playing Velma. Zeta-Jones went on to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for the role. Weinstein was once the most powerful producer in Hollywood, famed for making and breaking careers. But in 2017, multiple women came forward saying the movie mogul had raped and sexually assaulted them, sparking his dramatic downfall. Weinstein is currently serving a 23-year jail sentence in New York for his crimes. Last month, the power player was sentenced to a further 16 years behind bars by a Los Angeles judge after he was convicted in that city on three charges of rape and sexual assault. Weinstein gave a statement from prison regarding Hahn's claims. He told Variety, acting roles were always chosen based on what was best for the project, artistically and financially. The disgraced producer bizarrely claimed that Han had a positive experience being attached to the role, adding, We felt we did the best we could on Chicago and am proud of it, and I am so elated that Goldie's experience was a positive one, and that she has the fortitude to say that in this environment. I would simply say, thank you, Han, however, isn't losing any sleep about Weinstein's demise, telling Variety, he's finally living his karma. Elsewhere in her interview with the industry publication, Han revealed how she was asleep at the time she won her Best Supporting Actress Oscar for Cactus Flower back in 1970. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more news.